is getting a rest. He's back in as Palmer goes out. Lang will play it in. Shockers need to make a stop here and reestablish a little order. Copeland, quick three. Rims out this time in the rebound to Ryan Martin. It clears it to Breyer. Matt pushing it up court. Finds O'Geary ahead of the pack. All alone. Goes for the dunk. That <laughs> might be the first dunk of Sean O'Geary's career at Wichita State. Shockers up 16 with 1.35 to go. Long three by Goss. Bounces off the back. Rebound Kyle Wilson. Now it's starting to look a little more under control. Up to Breyer. Shockers taking their time. We'll see if Seton Hall fouls right away. They try to double team, but Breyer keeps control of it. Off to O'Geary. And Sean O'Geary now. Wheels around a defender. Gauze all over him. Trying to steal it. Sean bounces to Breyer. Down to 114 to play. Right wing Ryan Martin out to O'Geary. To Karen Bradley. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Breyer looks like Seton Hall is going to quit fouling. They have conceded. Breyer, left corner. O'Geary for three. Got hit as he shot. Made it. And he'll have a chance for a four-point play. And Sean O'Geary laying on his fanny, held his finger up in the air as he's got a chance for a four-point play to kind of wrap this thing up. 101 to play. Shockers by 19. O'Geary trying to make it a four-point play to really put an exclamation point on this one. And rolls it in. O'Geary with 23. Wichita State by 20. The Shockers are going to be moving on to the second round, and Cameron Ledford gets in, so this is really neat. Not only are the Shockers in an NCAA tournament for the first time in 18 years, but everybody who has worked so hard this year gets rewarded by getting a chance to play. And now Seton Hall clearing their bench a little bit. In fact, a walk-on into the game who has not played in a single game this year. Tyrone Cotton checks in for the Pirates. Well, it's great for Wichita State's non-starters, Mike. And you know what's really fitting is the non-starters were really responsible for Wichita State doing a good job this afternoon. Great job by the Shocker bench. Sean O'Geary just one short of his career high of 24 against Evansville. And now Seton Hall bringing it up quickly, under a minute to play. Stan Gaines pulls up, fires over Ryan Martin, and hits. Ooh. Where was that all game? <laughs> Gaines with his first two. That was just a pull-up jumper from about 17. Full court pressure into Cameron Ledford. Back to Nick Rogers, driving it up court to Wendell Freedom. Through traffic to Ryan Martin. Doesn't take it all the way in. Back out to Rogers to Freedom. Wendell down near the right corner to Ryan Bradley. Cross court, Cameron Ledford. Little handoff to Ryan Martin. Shockers running good keep-away offense here. Wendell Freedom double teamed. Gets it on the right sideline to Rogers. Cross court to Martin. Down to 13 to shoot. They want Cameron Ledford. Ledford. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Little handoff to Freedom. Double team on him. Cam's going to get a shot, I think. Drives it to the baseline. Goes all the way. Missed it. Rebound Ryan Bradley. Gets the stick back. Ryan Bradley, the freshman who had only played in eight games this year, gets a two-pointer in the NCAA tournament. Three-point try by Carl Marshall Short. Wendell Freedom comes up with it. Gets it up to Ryan Martin. To Ryan Bradley. He's all alone. And Mark Turgeon says, pull it back out. That's great. We're going to not rub it in here. Shockers by 20, and that's going to be the final score. Shocker fans wanted Ryan Bradley to dunk it. Mark Turgeon was not going to rub it in. Wichita State gets its first NCAA tournament victory in 25 years, and the Shockers do it in convincing fashion, making a statement for the Missouri Valley Conference as they down Seton Hall by 20, 86-66 here at Greensboro. Stay tuned for the Preferred Health Postgame Show. 